thank you for joining us at Femina and Gratia's virtual beauty carnival. Uh, my guest today is the lovely Jacqueline Fernandez, uh, who's joining us from Dalhousie. She's on a shoot schedule there. She's uh, joining us with a little bit of shaky network, but nevertheless, ready to welcome her. Hi, Jacqueline. So we're here to talk about beauty today. So, uh -huh. uh, and the changing face of what it has been over the past few years. So uh, what does it mean to you today? And how has the idea of beauty changed for you over the past few years? Um, I think like people are now kind of owning their imperfections a lot more. Um, like, for example, like recently, very, very recently, I started like, you know, uh, not being so afraid to actually show my freckles like that's something I, I naturally had have I've always had them and you know I, I actually had really bad skin growing up I had a lot of acne and that left a lot of acne scars on me and it was something I used to you know very obsessively cover up and now I, I don't think I, I think like it's actually something that I'm you know I'm pretty okay with and I understand that it's very me and it makes me who I am so um, I think people are trying to be a lot more real and a lot more themselves and a lot more fearless, you know, and even when it comes to makeup as well, I think like now the same thing, they're being just as fearless with makeup. They're, they're not afraid to experiment. They're not afraid to try new makeup at one time. People are okay with that as well, because they're like, if it's the love for makeup, it's their love for makeup, you know? And um, so, yeah, I think a lot has changed. I mean, like I've been in the industry for the past 10 years and I've seen a like I've seen it evolve so much, you know, when it came to makeup and styling and and um, you know all sorts of like just getting ready. So yeah, it's, it's really good though. It's like I love how everyone's just kind of finding their own space now. So also, do you think that uh, the landscape has turned a lot more inclusive as opposed to what it was earlier? whether it's with beauty brands, it's even with the way uh, with how influencers put all um, their content out there. It's just turned a whole a lot more inclusive. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, and definitely. I mean, like, it, uh, people want to be able to relate. You know, people want to be able to kind of uh, feel like they're not alone in the world. I think we are reaching out to so many different demographics as well. Uh, we're being able to reach so many people with our, um, just through social media, the beauty of, like, digital, uh, the reach that we have nowadays, and how there is actually something for everyone. So it's, it's honestly, there's, there's such a great side to you know, where the world is at right now with technology and because of digital and because of social media. And also the kind of content maybe that you've been putting out, whether, I mean, with reference to beauty, do you think it's really important to keep that relatable, keeping in mind that there's a, there's a lot of younger, impressionable minds uh, watching you all the time? Absolutely. I mean, like, see, the thing is, for me, I understand there's a certain way I need to look when I'm on film. And I, I, I'd like to believe that that is more character based and that is specifically for a character. But when we're on social media and when we're being ourselves and fooling around, there are so many times where we're just like getting out of bed or like, you know, just no makeup and like looking like crap, which is OK. I don't mind that side of me showing as well, because, you know, it's it's interesting. And I want people to know that, you know, yes, makeup can actually do wonders and there can be two sides to an actress's life. But everyone can be just as you know I mean everyone has like bad days and nobody is perfect I never ever ever want to put out that you know that thought in people's head and especially young girls heads that you know there's there's such a thing as perfection I want them to know that there is imperfections and that's okay when I'm off screen yeah look at me like I there's like so many imperfections and everyone is like that but yeah, when I'm on screen there's a certain image I need to uphold you know so I I will you know go with that um but um yeah i mean i think it's important to, for people to realize that there is you know different ways i mean you know like everyone can look different and there is such a thing as like makeup tricks and tips and you know so as long as like young girls are not you know influenced by the fact that they need to be perfect and that that is achievable because it's not 
So, uh, so when someone posts something, say on Instagram, it, it's kind of a personal choice. But when it comes to say maybe celebrities and influencers, uh, there is a certain responsibility. Uh, do you feel that responsibility yourself every time you're posting something maybe related to beauty, maybe when it's with filters and things like that? A little bit of a second guessing before you put it up. No, there is definitely a responsibility when you have a lot of followers and people, you know, like who look up to you. There's definitely a responsibility. But it's also super important to understand that you have to be yourself as much as you can. Like that is that for me is the most important message. If I feel like posting up something that's truly me and an expression of who I am, I shouldn't feel scared that, oh, my God, like, how will I get judged for this? I yeah. think that that message and that communication that be yourself, be who you are and don't worry about other people will think. I think that's a very, very important communication. And, um, but obviously you don't want to like, for me, a wrong communication would be like, Oh, look at me. I'm, I'm so skinny and I eat pizza every day, you know, like that's wrong. Or even like just wrong brand advertising. If it's not a brand that you have maybe used, if it's not a brand that you believe in, don't stand for it. Don't represent it, you know? So, I mean, because there will be people following in your footsteps. So it's stuff like that. Like as a celebrity, I would see those as my responsibilities. Um, not to like, just not be a fraud and, and not fool people. Um, so, but in a way, yes, I, I do think about some, some of the stuff that I post and I, that I might get backlash for, but then if it's truly who I am and it's a way I want to express myself, I would, I would, then I would do it. I would choose to go with it. So, I mean, we've always spoken about like, you know, true representation of beauty, but you know what? Makeup is also a natural uh, mood booster. How does it work for you? I mean, I think, I I love think it. you enjoy, I think you enjoy yourself with makeup and it's, it's I do. evident. <laughs> Look at my team. They're just all sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> and they're <laughs> one sweeping. <laughs> But like, I mean, we all just have such a great time. Like for me, makeup is such an art. It is such an art form, you know, and um, it is an expression of who you want to be and how you want to be perceived. And that's completely fine. That's completely up to you. You can achieve that with makeup, you know. So it's for, for me, honestly, it's something to have like a little bit of fun with um, and create new things, create looks, um, create different sides, like different personalities for yourself. Um, and also at the same time, like there are days where I just do not want to have makeup, makeup on at all. Like I just want to be completely fresh faced. And that's usually how I enjoy traveling as well. Um, or just like, you know, days that I'm not working. Uh, and there was a time where I was a little bit hesitant to be like that, but now I'm like, that's okay. That, that is actually who I am. And yeah, I can be someone totally different when I decide to be, and that's completely like, you know, my call. So, but yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Have you, have you had a change in your routine with, I mean, in your beauty routine, uh, given the last six, eight months, we've maybe not been stepping out as much and maybe not working with as much makeup and stuff. Have you, have you consciously changed something about your routine, whether it could be even something to do with your diet, because I know you're very, very particular about your diet. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's all uh, Instagram stalking, but. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I, I think the past, you know, six to eight months uh, has definitely brought a lot more routine into my life. Even though I've been very particular about my diet and my workout, my life has always been so hectic and so, you know, all over the place and unpredictable and crazy timings. I never really had a proper schedule with what I wanted to do. And now I kind of feel like having spent six to eight months doing exactly what I want to do on a daily basis, I realized that this is what I need to incorporate into my work life as well. So, you know, like, what is the type of food that I enjoy? Okay, if I'm prepping for something, I know I can go on a certain diet, but still stick to the foods that I enjoy that I like. Uh, my workout now is like, you know, it's pretty like on autopilot. Um, I, I understand the workouts that really do work for me, you know, like, even if on, sh you know, like a short spurt of time that I can use and um, the workouts that I genuinely enjoy so that I can actually put that into my work life. Um, and I think like I, I learned a bit of hair and makeup when I was in quarantine because I didn't have hair and makeup. So it was like I pretty much had to do a lot of stuff on my own, especially when I was making videos or post, you know, I had to post stuff. So I learned quite a 
but not that much though. It just feels great to be back on a makeup chair and have like the experts do it Everyone for me. Around, <laughs> do your hair makeup? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just like, yes, just make me beautiful. <laughs> do your thing. <laughs> um, anything you want to leave us and your what 46.2 million Instagram followers with? A little bit of a party. No, move. I just want to wish you guys all the best. Um super exciting uh what's coming up in the next few days and it's great talking to you um and just sharing all of these you know i love you guys and um we've done so many amazing covers together and we've you know shared so many amazing moments together and interviews and photo shoots and travels and so i just want to wish you guys all the best for this amazing femna grazia virtual beauty carnival um of course everything's going virtual now so it's great that we are you know i mean it's great that we actually have this platform and we can still get to do the things that we love doing and you know um uh you know kind of share all of this and the experiences and so i'm really looking forward to it thank you so much for having me um thank as you. part of the carnival thank you so so much and i know they'll be calling you back onto your uh, onto the set in no time yeah yeah <laughs> super, super lucky i got this little break here i was so worried i wasn't i wasn't going to be able to make it no but no thank we, you we managed, so much, we managed Renan, for having me um Yes, we did it. We did it, guys. Bye. Awesome. Take care. Thanks. And Ooh, I will be stalking your carnival.